talking to you live. Just kidding, I'm not, it's not live. And to you that are new here, hello. You have come to the right place. You are welcome and appreciated. This is probably like the best lighting that I've ever had. You're probably wondering like, where the heck is she filming right now? This isn't her cute aesthetic white room. Well, I'll tell you. I'm gonna tell you right now where I am. We have this like rental apartment in our, just like behind our house. We have this like little rental apartment and um, our renters that were previously living here just moved out. And so we're having new renters coming in in a couple days. And so I thought I'd take this opportunity to film in the little apartment, but mainly just because I needed a quiet place. So, here we are. Okay, I keep swiveling around this chair. Today I, today I just kinda wanted to go and talk about my go-to outfits for school. It is the second week into my senior year. <laughs> It's been good. I'm in some good classes. There have been just some hard mornings already where I'm just not wanting to get out of bed. I just have a couple different fits that are kind of just my go-tos in the morning. So, okay. So for my like go-tos, it's always, pretty much always a good, strong, hefty pair of mom jeans. The mother, the mother pants. I'm here to tell you that they're great. Mom jeans are awesome. I'll show you kind of the ones that I have. So these are all of my momish jeans. I usually just, I don't know. Everyone says that you can find these amazing mom jeans at your thrift store, but honestly, it is so hard to find good jeans at the thrift store. You have to really dig into the jean section. But I do have, I have like a couple pairs that I have gotten at the thrift, thrift, thrift store, thrift store. I did find these Tommy jeans. They were a little bit big, but you make do. Because they're kind of big, like, and long at the bottom. I usually will just cut them. I'll just cut the bottoms and then you put them in the wash and it kind of fringes the bottoms, like all cutesy, like if you think that's cute. I got these Lucky Brand jeans and I thought they were cool just because they had that patch thingy on the back. I have these ones, they're not like super mom-ish. I mean, they don't have the long zipper thing, but they had the little patch thing on the back, so I liked that. And then I also have these Eddie Bauer jeans that I also got from the thrift store. I also cut the bottoms of those, so it's like all fringy and cool. I got these at PacSun. They're probably like my almost probably favorite jeans right now just because they have like block fabric. I don't know what you call it. And then these ones I also got from PacSun. They're just like a vintage wash black coolness. And then these ones were from Brandy. They also have like the fringy bottom with those. So I'll usually just pair them with a, just a plain t-shirt or like a kind of any kind of t-shirt, band t-shirt. That's usually my go-to mom jean because they're comfortable. They're not gonna like be super tight on you all day. And even if it is hot, I mean, they're kind of just like airy, like a good airiness in your lights. Okay, enough with that. I also wanna go over upping your fashion game. Upping your fashion game. Upping your fashion game. This is like not even that hard. Kind of improve your outfit, I guess. The first thing is to accessorize. By this I mean like necklaces, like rings. Just recently I've started wearing these ones. They're like the little bead necklaces. Super easy to make. I made all of these. And then I also have these ones that I also made. So every now and then, like today, I'll pair them with just like a simple necklace like that. And then it just kind of looks cute and like you put thought into your outfit. And then like second tip that I will give you. So that was like the first tip is to accessorize. And sec second tip is also kind of accessory. But another, another thing to improve your fashion game is to wear a cool belt. 
You know, a lot of people don't really think about belts when it comes to getting an outfit together. I think it makes your outfit look like you... I honestly don't know where I'm going with this. But belts are cool. I have this, like, kind of skinny black belt. You can find them pretty much anywhere. And then I have this super cool belt. Isn't this like the coolest thing ever? I have this belt. It's kind of like a cowboy belt. And then this belt with some freaking sick tassels. Tip number three, I think. Tuck in your shirts. This is kind of like not even that much of a tip. I just think it looks cuter if you're wearing kind of like a bigger t-shirt because I will sometimes wear like oversized like t-shirts or thermals or something and I will just tuck them into my jeans especially if they're like the high-waisted mom jeans then like a tucked in shirt looks a lot cuter but just like tucking oh, I need to stop moving on this chair it's like, it's not like that. that's super simple you can do that with any shirt just tucking it in and it just looks so much better I think a big thing this is a big one this is a big thing <laughs> Patterned pants. All the patterns of pants. Patterned pants. Love them. So these are like my golf pants. I have like some striped ones. I have these ones. These like checkered ones. And they make you just seem like you're cool. Who doesn't want that, honestly? You can really wear them with like anything. You can accessorize with them. Wear like your belts with them. I'll usually pair them with just like some like, vans or something. Pattern pants guys, I just love them so much. If you take away one thing from this video, it is this. When in doubt, black it out. Just everyone looks so much better in black. I always feel just so much more confident when I'm wearing a black shirt. Just when in doubt, black it out. That's like my, my saying. With a black shirt and black pants, you can never go wrong. So that's kind of it for today. I just wanted to go over my go-to's outfits, you know, upping your style game. It's really not that hard. Anything you do, you just gotta own it. So yeah, if you um, like this video, just make sure to subscribe. If you got this far, it's always a fun time. Let's be friends. Leave a comment if you're feeling saucy. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hugs and kisses. Goodbye, I'm leaving you.